Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. The new Fortnite update is actually tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. Eastern. It was delayed. We're going to talk about that in a second. But first, let's let's discuss this very weird but important thing going on. Uh, and it has to do with Fall Guys coming out and people getting this when they log in. Ask your parent for help. Once your parent has given permission, you will be able to continue using this Epic Games account. Warning! If you do not complete this process, we are required to delete your account in 30 days, basically, from the time of this being sent. And so, what's happening? Fall Guys has just went free to play. And it, it seems the issue is, as you log into Fall Guys for the first time, again, linking your Epic Games account, because Epic Games, of course, owns Fall Guys, Rocket League, Fortnite, and a ton of other games, it asks you to enter your age for Fall Guys. If you put anything under 13, then you are going to get this message. It's like a basically a parental control message, which is super fair, but there's a lot of things that, that are weird here. And the first one being the thing we just looked at. They will delete your account in 30 days if you don't get this dealt with. I don't know why they're putting a timer on it. I think that could very quickly uh, lead to some people. Like say, say you log in, you enter your age, and then for some reason you don't play or even see this email for 30 days. The account's gone. All your personal information's wiped. All your progress is wiped. How it works, if you've got a kid under 13 or you are 13 and watching this video, you gotta tell your parent. The email attached to the, the parental account, parental controls, is going to receive an email like this. Dear parent, your child, whatever it is, at under 13, has an Epic Games account, which is used to play Fortnite, Rocket League, or Fall Guys, or to use other services from Epic Games companies. We have become aware of your child's age and we have temporarily restricted the access. Because of their age, we need your permission before we can restore the account and allow it access to our games and services. Your child has provided us with your email address to ask for your permission. So, okay, continue. And again, they say it again, this, this link will be active for 30 days from the date of your child's initial request. So it's it's on the initial request. That's, that's when it starts. Uh, and then the link will expire after that and Epic will delete your email and remove all personal info from your child's account. <laughs> just a little savage, man. I think it's just a little much. I don't really understand the delay. So what you got to do, uh, sign in with Epic, manage your, uh, to, to help manage your child's account. You'll go through the steps. I'm kind of going through them with you here. And then you can choose what you, what games the, the, the child is allowed to play from rated E all the way to adult only, unrated. Uh, that's obviously up to your discretion. This is the weird one though. You need to then confirm that you are an adult. And, and this is where it starts to look like a scam. It's not a scam. This is official Epic Games business. Uh, you either have to do the last four digits of your social security number, which I would not recommend to do anyone, anywhere, right? My, my mom taught me that when I was a kid. Don't put your social security number anywhere. You can also use a credit or debit card. So yeah, some type of old debit card would be best because again, this just goes against all of the anti-scam lessons we, we've been taught and what we're thinking about. Uh, but again, th this is real. Uh, they've actually partnered with a, a company I think called Super Awesome, <laughs> which is again like a, a super scammy name, right? It just, I don't, that doesn't sound official at all. Uh, yeah, some of this stuff just seems like a joke. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but there's the way they're handling this. And then you got to enter your personal details uh, to verify your identity. Once you do that, it will all be good to go. There's been people asking if this is a scam, and this is recent because it again, it's triggered when you open Fall Guys free to play and link your account for the first time uh, to avoid it. Put, put your age older than 13, uh, honestly, because uh, I think going through this is a little crazy. Uh, not that I disagree with parental controls, just the way it's being handled here is just, it's a little weird. So th there's your info. Uh, we've also got a Fortnite update tomorrow morning. Uh, again, sorry about the info yesterday. I, I was ready for update night last night. I was ready to stay up. I had plans to do it. Uh, but uh, it looks like they've delayed it. Now, what to expect in tomorrow's update, we've talked about, uh, but a couple new things. Uh, just, yeah, Sleepy Sound or Condo Canyon should be updated. Big map changes at Tumbledown Temple. Uh, summer event stuff. Indiana Jones Cosmetics weekly challenges. Maybe news on the Luke Skywalker NPC lightsaber boss. Uh, possibly a new weapon or unknown 
gun vault. The overload shotgun is, is one of the guesses. And tilted towers change. We should see that building start to uh, continue to be built or even be completed uh, in tilted, right? With the block 2.0 event going on. Free rewards, challenges, cosmetics is the big one, right? Summer event cosmetics. Will there be an official summer event announcement? These are all the, the potentials. I'm rotating through the different uh, uh, Condo Canyon rotations and then uh, Sleepy Sound, thanks to Kumar. It's going to be one of these two, apparently, along with the Temple change. So we get two map changes in one update, it's looking like. Uh, we just don't know if it's Condo or Sleepy, but it'll follow that same uh, pattern mechanic where it rotates through different themes, POI themes, uh, every single match, which is... Uh, just a beautiful thing in my opinion and there's a chance according to the files that the new uh, POI the new temple POI is going to be called temple bloom now we're, there's no confirmation though that this is going to be a, a rotating mechanic that we're like rotating theme mechanic that we were just talking about it might be it might not another upcoming vehicle mechanic is skating we assume it's skateboarding could be tonight as well or at least more info on it uh, a little clip here from e EA though in the background I've got it going <laughs> you can see so maybe here's maybe a possibility of what it looks like this is a concept nothing official but if it does come out which I hope it does this fits the summer event perfectly uh, maybe this is what you know something we can do with it looks so clean man what a clean looking video it tilted there uh, I'll keep you updated hopefully some more info on it the theme of the day on reddit or even the theme of the last few weeks it seems is the new it's been around now for a little bit, but the new, let's call it our, our newest Battle Pass UI. Um, people just don't love it, right? It was advertised as you can claim any reward you want in any order that you want, but it's not really true, right? You, 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 you gotta uh, claim a full page before you can claim the skin type of thing. You, you, you still have to go in order. You can claim a couple things uh, out of order, but it's, it's really not a big change. And people just think the old stuff looks prettier, right? And I'm scrolling through one of the Reddit posts today. Uh, people want the old ones to return, either of them. Out of the three, uh, our, our current one, the and, and then the two I just showed you, what was your favorite Battle Pass UI? Uh, I think this is a, a thing that Epic will listen to and change if uh, enough people get behind it. FNCS Chapter 3 Season 3 Twitch Drops have been announced. And that is a brand new back bling. It's not a new style uh, for an old one. Uh, it's brand new. And yeah, you watch Twitch, FNCS, drops enabled, and you're going to get these things for free. Fortnite times Marvel, Zero War issue number three, another variant cover. They, they do a lot of these. I think it just helps advertise the upcoming Zero War comics. The second one releases, uh, I believe, in a couple weeks, midway through July here. And finally, summer update leak. Uh, because we are still looking for kind of an official no sweat summer 2022 event there was the the island hopper quest a couple free rewards but that's not all there's more to come epic has confirmed but something they are working on and that are in the files are at least three new npcs on the island to interact with boardwalk ruby summer drift and unpeely these won't be the only npcs there will be more and that's all i got thanks for watching take care talk soon goodbye